what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we're going to be doing episodes five and six of jojo's bizarre adventure let's get it man we are back and i am ready to dive into some more jojo's he's acquired some new powers <laughs> if you will learning this new skill man um we'll see how this is going to play out dio is not dead <laughs> you know um it's just that the first time that we saw him after you know him falling into the fire and getting impaled and all of that the first time we saw him you know he had the injury so i didn't think i didn't i thought it was somebody else at first but then we realized that you know but he also sent this um he also turned um um jack the ripper um, into basically a vampire right he turned him into a vampire and basically sent him after jojo but jojo has learned how to kill people without spilling wine that is very impressive <laughs> but anyways it seems like the power comes from the wine <laughs> anyways um i'm interested to know what's going to happen next we're gonna jump into this and then i'll be right back here for the review just know guys that um we i don't put these episodes up on youtube you know for a lot of reasons for a lot of reasons and even recently more so i'm not going to be doing that so let's go watch the episode on the episodes on the google drive and then come back for the review i would really appreciate that just so i can get my watch time up on the channel i really do appreciate it but before you leave make sure you hit that like button just in case you decide not to come back and see my review at least you left a like you know i know a lot of you guys literally come on the video and just go to, to the description you know i know a lot of you guys are doing that you know i don't have to ask i know because i'm looking at the watch time and sometimes my watch time for some of these videos are not even a minute you guys don't even spend a minute here with me you know you know what i'm saying so i know for a fact that you guys you know just come and just go to this video. let's go watch your reaction you know but anyway to each his own i'll see you guys for the review ah yes jojo's bizarre adventure episode five and six man can't say i did not enjoy that that was very entertaining you know um you don't see a lot of animes like this anymore for real um but as we progress into this series i guess i'm gonna get to see a little bit more of the, the how it went over the years because you can see the progression when you watch certain animes like naruto you can see the progression over the years of the, the animation getting better I mean, I mean, in certain aspects, I do believe that part one of Naruto had better animation to ship it in. I think it, there was, it was more detailed, um, in my opinion, in my opinion. But you still see the progression of things that were different. Some animations were way better in Shippuden than in part one, of course. But um, I'm looking forward to seeing the animation get better, a lot more clearer. Um, you know action scenes you know getting a little bit more elaborate you know so i'm looking forward to those things when it comes on to jojo for the story dio is back on the prowl came back for them with these two legendary noble warriors that he turned into zombies brought him back they've been dead for 300 years so he can bring the dead back to life so yeah that's the thing <laughs> you know this guy is you know dio is a problem because if if um if jojo's teacher can't do nothing against him you know how is jojo going to beat i'm pretty sure jojo is going to figure out a way this is pretty dope when it comes on to the fights in this anime that i really that i really mess with it's the, the overdrive stuff it can it can be a bit too much a little bit sometimes if i'm supposed to have one small criticism about what i noticed about it too much like every single movie does it's an overdrive move <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i'm waiting for him to do something to say something else but you never 
really hear him say something else but i'm fine with it it's not that it's jarring or anything it's just you know a, a small critique like every move is you know is some sort of overdrive i would have been happy if he said hammond move <laughs> and then he says something but it's just like that just that last word of him saying overdrive for every single move you know what i'm saying like I don't want to say I don't like it. It's more of like it, it's just it it uh, it becomes a little repetitive. It is repetitive, but it just feels repetitive. Like you can do repetitive and it doesn't really sound repetitive unless you're really trying to nitpick, as I am probably doing now. But um, other than that, man, this was great. It was a great two episodes. Um, that's not a long review here. Great two episodes. I'm looking forward to see how they're going to beat this guy. If this guy's prophecy is actually going to come through here, I'm going to be really sad about that because I like I like his character. I like him as a role model for Jojo, teaching him, and also kind of like his background story too um, is pretty dope. So him learning Haman, teaching it to Jojo. Um, so I'm looking forward to see how Jojo is going to progress going forward anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in make sure you leave a like on the video leave a um comment and also subscribe if you're new there's more jojo to come thank you guys once again it's your boy terabyte reacts peace